Hey there, welcome to Sounds from the Collywobbles Theater Company and our podcast bonus today. It's called A Dragnet Christmas, originally done by Stan Freeberg. And just for a little fun, we decided to reproduce it ourselves. I'm Carol Catherine, founder and creator of the Collywobbles Theater Company. I hope you enjoy. This is the season. This is the season. My name's Wednesday. My partner is Frank Jones. The chief's name is Captain Kellogg. December the 24th, Christmas Eve. They brought in a guy named Grudge. When I heard what they booked him on, my blood ran cold. It was a 4096325-096704. Not believing in Santa Claus. 4.35 p.m. I was working the holiday watch out of Homicide with Frank. Hang up your stocking yet, Joe? Yeah, just before I came down. You too, Frank? Always do. Hung it up early just in case I happen to work late tonight. Wouldn't want to miss out on when Santa Claus comes, you know? Sure wouldn't. Be a shame. What you gonna do tomorrow, Joe? What you gonna do on Christmas? Got any plans? Nothing much. Why don't you come by the house, Joe? We're gonna have Christmas dinner. You know, all the trimmings. Turkey, celery, stuffing, oysters, maybe chestnuts. All the trimmings, you know? Cranberry sauce. Love to have you. The missus always fixes a plate of relish with them little carrot sticks. You know, olives, pickles, scallions. Most people call them little green onions, but they're scallions. Did you ever notice that, Joe? Notice what, Frank? How most people call them green onions, but they're really scallions? Uh Uh-huh, scallions. Anytime after two, Joe. Love to have you. Uh Uh-huh, well, I'll see. Love to have you. Uh Uh-huh, well, I'll see. Love to have you. Uh Uh-huh, well, I'll see. Missus always fixes up a plate of relish with them little carrot sticks. You know, olives, pickles, scallions. Uh Uh-huh. Let's not go through that again. Go through what, Joe? Most people call them green onions, but they're really scallions. Oh, you noticed that too, huh, Joe? Homicide. Wednesday. Uh Uh-huh. 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 Joe, smatter. Bringing a guy in on a 409-635-096704. Guy don't believe in scallions. I I mean Santa Claus. (laughs) 6.29 p.m. We questioned the guy who didn't believe in Santa Claus. Guy named Grudge. Says here your name's Grudge. That right? Yeah. Says here you didn't believe in Santa Claus. Hard to believe that you said. Did you really say that? Sure I said it. How do you know there's a Santa Claus? You got a picture of him? No. No mugshots. Any fingerprints? Uh-uh. No latent prints. I just know. That's all. Like saying there's no Easter Bunny. That's another guy that I know of. What's your story, mister? Joe, he said that just to make me feel bad, didn't he? There really is an Easter Bunny, isn't there, Joe? Listen, Grudge, didn't I pick you up three years ago in a 1492 for not believing in Columbus? Yeah, I don't believe in Cleveland or Cincinnati either. How about Toledo? I ain't made my mind up yet about Toledo. Okay, mister, I get the picture now. You don't believe in nothing, do you? Nothing. And you want to know something else? What's that? I'm going to get up and walk right out of this room. Because you guys ain't got nothing on me. There ain't no law against not believing in Santa Claus. There is in my book. Let me tell you something, mister. I'm going to prove there's a Santa Claus if it takes me all night. <laughs> Pretty funny. The police department's got nothing to do. Let me straighten you out, buddy. This one's on Frank and me. Right, Frank? Right, Frank? There, there really is an Easter Bunny, isn't there, Joe? You know, hibbity hobbity down the bunny trail? took Grudge over to the helicopter, got in, flew around the city for hours. I showed him department stores. What's hurrying in and out of those department stores, Grudge? Heavy people, but I ain't impressed. I showed him stockings. How are those stockings hung, Grudge? But a chimney would care, but I didn't hang none up. I showed him children nestled all snug in their beds. What's dancing in their heads, Grudge? Visions of sugar plums, but you ain't selling me. There ain't no Santa Claus. He still didn't believe. There was only one thing left to do. My job? Get to the North Pole. I set the plane down. We walked over to Sandy's workshop, rang the bell. Pardon me, sir. Can I ask you a few questions? Oh, sure. Just tickle me to death. What do you do for a living? I'm 
a brownie. What are you doing at the North Pole with a southern accent? Well, the boss sort of ran short of help this year, so he had to recruit a few of us brownies from the South Pole. Uh-huh. That figures. What a waste of time. Can we talk to your boss, please? Oh, he's out. You wouldn't have to come on the one night he's out on the whole year. What's your particular job, Mr. Brownie? My boss has eight tiny reindeer. My job, feed them. Yes, sir. What do you feed them? Well, most times I fix up a little plate of relish, olives, pickles, and them little carrot sticks. You know them little carrot sticks. Uh-huh. And scallions? Most, most folks call them green onions, onions, but they're really scallions. They're really scallions. How do you know? Just stab in the dark. The little man showed us through the workshop. My boss will be back for a second load pretty soon. Say, would y'all like to hear an interesting story? Yes, sir. Do you see that huge pile of presents over there? Uh-huh. Man, look at all that stuff. Would you believe it? They're all for the same man. Been piling up here year after year. Why didn't the guy ever get them? Yeah, why? Because he didn't believe in my boss. You know the rules. Uh-huh, we know. I don't suppose that there's no chance that this guy can still... Get the presents? Oh, sure. He gets them all the minute he believes. But I don't suppose he ever will. Too bad about that guy. What's his name? Don't say it. I don't want to hear it. Come on, Mr. Brownie. What's his name? His name? Grudge. The Brownie saw us to the door. Wished us a Merry Christmas. We were heading back to the plane when it happened. Hey. Yeah, Grudge? You know that guy I said I don't believe in? Who's that? Santa Claus. Yes, sir? You think I'm too old to change my mind? You're never too old, Mr. Grudge. Well, then... I believe in Santa Claus and Columbus. How about Cincinnati and Cleveland and the Easter Bunny? Yeah, them too. And Toledo? And I still ain't made my mind up about Toledo. Look, Grudge, up in the sky. He's coming back for the second load. It's Santa Claus! It's Santa Claus! There's the only guy I know can make everybody happy in one night. Yeah, he must have the biggest heart in the world. Yeah, that's about the size of it. Cast members included Joe, played by Alan, Frank, played by Logan, and Grudge, played by Dusty, and I played the elf. Have a happy holidays and enjoy!